Having defined the independent set and vertex cover problems, we will now show that vertex cover is as hard as independent set. In general, finding a reduction can be very difficult. Sometimes, however, it can be as simple as playing around with the definition. You will notice that in both these examples here and in the exercises, the set of vertices used in the vertex cover was the complement of the vertices used in the independent set. Let's see if we can explain this. A set S is an independent set if there are no edges within S. By within, I mean that both endpoints are in S. That's equivalent to saying that every edge is not within S, or that every edge is incident on V minus S. Aha, but that just says that V minus S is a vertex cover. So of course the complement of an independent set was always a vertex cover, and vice versa. Thus, we have the observation that a subset of the vertices S is an independent set if and only if V minus S is a vertex cover. As a corollary then, G will contain an independent set of size at least K if and only if it has a vertex cover of size at most V minus K. The reduction then is fantastically simple. Given a graph G and a number K, the reduction just keeps the same graph G and changes K to the number of vertices minus K.